Now we're going to work with part three of the software. And when we stopped on part two, we copied the password over that we got from the website. The website gave us the password. So I'm going to say, OK, I'm happy with the password. Comes up and say, correct password. All pages in the book is now available. So I say, that's fine. Thank you very much. And now you've got your software and your software is open. A little bit of history it tells you what the files is, what files you need to change. And I can just go down and say start. Let's just scroll down a bit and see what's, what else is there. Uh, and you'll see that the software updater uh, would normally sell for 149. You must probably got it for quite a bit cheaper than that. Right. So let's go and look at the start button. Click on start. It says price for profit. A little bit of why we created the course, why the course is there. That's 100 percent and you can contact me. There's my if you click there, it'll take you through to my email address. So that works fine. Right, next part is you can't see anything else. There's no things more forward and backwards. Right, let's go and have a look at the top. On when we look at the top, we've got arrows down, arrows up, but we also have our index page. So let's go to our index page, click on our index page and it says right, price for profit home intro, important variables, we've updated them. So if I click on that, you'll now see that all this information that I've just captured is now loaded into my program. Remember, we, in, in part one, we basically went through and ca captured all this information. Uh, all that info is now loaded into my program here. Right, so now that's done. Again, go back to my program. Prospect letter. The part that we didn't change was the letter that we had there. And the letter is basically, if I take this letter, there's my heading at the top date information and all that today's date I can put the attention into the client and I can print this letter out and this letter will tell the client exactly what I do what I expect and what I don't expect uh, when I, especially when I'm in the dressmaking industry um, in the embroidery industry we can you can change some of the paragraphs that is there let's go one back right this is the nice part this part is where the dressmakers will really enjoy what we do so I'm going to go and say click standard, standard price list. And you'll see that I've actually gone and added for you the different types of products that is in the list. So in skirts, there's all the skirts there. I've got blouses at the bottom there. Let's go down and find this. Dresses, jackets, um, Tailor jackets, cardigans, coats, pants, bridal information, all the way, all the way to the bottom. So let's say we're going to do a bridal outfit for a bridal gown. We're going to say right fat. We're going to add that. And it's added it to our quotation system. And we need to go and add, that's the bride. We need to go and add something for the mother of the bride. If I can get my mouse so I can see where my mouse is. Add something for the mother of the bride. And then there is three bridesmaids. So we're going to add it once, twice, and three times. And there is a slip as well that we need to produce for the for the for the bride. And there is a going away a evening a evening outfit after the bride. Now she's going to just go off and enjoy herself on her honeymoon afterwards. So. I've taken that together and let's go over and see if we go to the top where is let me scroll up go to the top I should be able to go and look at a quote so we go and say go to quote and I click on go to quote and it came up and it did all my calculations for me immediately so there's my prices bridal gown 8,000 rand mother of the laws outfit 3,500, bridesmaid 1,5, bridesmaid 2,5, bridesmaid 3,5, and the slip 5, and the total cost is 32,800. Quicker than this, it is not possible for you to do any quotation. Um, next part is, is if there's extra work that needs to be done on these, we need to go back. So we're going to go back to price list. And I'm going to go to garment primary prices. Instead of the construction prices that we've got here, I'm going to go to garment primary prices. We're going to click on that. Uh, sorry, that's construction. This is where I want it to be, construction prices, sorry. 
uh, and not the garment account. And now I'm going to go and look and look for information that I need to go and add still to the project. So let's go down and see what do I have here. Um, zippers, pockets, uh, other information that I've got here, belts, pleats, ties, tie-ups. Um, Alright, there's nothing there, so that's fine. But there might be embroidery on it, so I'm going to go back and go to my embroidery site and go to my embroidery price list and say, right, digitizing, that I need to do digitizing for it. I might have, I might not have. If I had to do digitizing for it, I need to go and put um, the number of stitches in there. So let's say there was uh, 24.7 thousand stitches in there, so I'm going to go and add that. Go right, and then um, not on towel, lace, applique, uh, delicate fabric. We're going to go and add to delicate delicate fabric as well. And this is where you need to do your calculation. It says click here to calculate. It says here, click here to use your calculator to determine the number of stitches. Now we've got twenty four thousand stitches there. So I'm going to click on my calculator to see if I can bring my little calculator up. And it's popped up for me. So, um, and it was 24, 24.7. And I need to times that for delicate fabric uh, to go and say times 1.45. And that gives me an answer of 35.81. So I'm just going to go and put in your delicate fabric there. Um, 35.81. And I say add. Where do we go? Here we go. Let me say add. It's been added. And now I can go back and look at my quotation because now my quote should include digitizing. And the digitizing now that's now included is. Um, 1200, 1200 rand for the digitizing and for the embroidery uh, will be 338 rand. Uh, and that 338 rand could be per design or it could be only for one design, depending on where you're going to do that. Because remember, if you calculate it, you know you're going to repeat that 17 times, you must go and times it with 17 times as well. So this way it's done. You can now go and print your quotation or you can go and say, I'm going to go back and I would like to have this as an invoice and it will bring the invoice up for me and there's my invoice for my for my customer which I can now go and print out. In short that is what the price for profit system allows us to do at this stage. We will continuously upgrade it and that way you will have the best software the quickest now and the best part is you are not trying to think what the price should be the program thinks what your price is based on what you've given it and you will basically be able to tell your client but this is the price that i can work for otherwise sorry i can't help you ladies and gents thank you very much and it's been a pleasure to be with you for this few short moments